All right, we're here at the Sleep In and Suites in Shepherdsville, Kentucky. And I'm gonna do a hotel tour here. And as you can see, it's about the storm. You can probably hear that thunder there. So I'm gonna try and get inside before I get struck by lightning. There's a police officer out here, I'm not sure why. Hopefully everything's okay. Two of them, actually. Let's walk in, you got walking chairs here. Where's the front desk? There's quite a few people out and about, so sorry about kind of rushing the lobby tour, but there's the elevators, which I'll come back to, but in here they have the, there's no, like the breakfast area, the pool, the fitness center, and the pool, sadly, is temporarily closed, I'm not sure why. It's been closed the whole time I've been here, but you can see it in there. Here's the fitness center. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. There we go, I had to dig out my key. There. Kind of a heavy door. Yeah, there's another slightly better look at the pool. Got an elliptical here. Kind of a small fitness center. Treadmill. And then some weights back here. And mirrors so you can watch yourself work out if you want. Right there is a air conditioner, water fountain, and then there's the towels. All right. Outside. And one more thing on the first floor. Got ice and travel pamphlets there. have guest laundry which I think you just walk right in actually it might be closed right now I'm not sure all right here's guest laundry it's small I got one washer and one dryer this is a mana washer whirlpool dryer I'll come back and get a shot of that later. Room in there. Bathrooms. Alright. And now we'll ride the elevators, which are probably pretty busy right now. Otis. We'll go up to four. And I'll come back down to three, which is where my room is.
Let's get back to number three. These are decent elevators. This is the better one of the two. The other one goes a little rough. And then we got ice in here. was filmed two days ago. on the door we got the deadbolt here this is a do not disturb sign kind of small and then this is a another lock thingy there's the fire evacuation plan and you got a peep hole here and that oh there's a light up there There's actually quite a bit of lighting in here so far from last scene. We'll take a look at the bathroom first. So you actually have lights there that are separate from the fan, so that's nice. But the fan and the lights aren't all connected. Tissues, here's a hair dryer. They give you a bar of soap, lotion, and conditioner, and this is probably shampoo, yeah. Sink. There's the mirror. Got an ice bucket in the bathroom with some plastic cups. plug if you need it. Here's the toilet. It is a Gerber. I'll flush it. Trash can and some toilet paper. Two rolls there. Under the sink we have towels. Plenty of them, it looks like. Here's the shower. And this is, of course, the arched rod. You got a grab bar there, and I'll turn the shower on briefly. And it yeah, this is one that has multiple settings. So well, that's nice. Turn it off. Alright, and then they give you another bar of soap there and a towel. And then here's the actual room. Got a closet with kind of an interesting door. iron and ironing board. Hangers and this is a laundry bag. There's another mirror.
here's the thermostat and the the PTAC unit is actually controlled on it so that's pretty cool a little place to set your luggage I guess right there and then here's a higher fridge very cold in there We've got a freezer oh, it looks like it's been defrosted as well nice and the compressor just turned on on the PTAC unit Here's a GE microwave. And then down here is the coffee maker. Kind of interesting placement for it. And here's the TV, which is rather large. It's an LG, and we'll turn it on quickly. You got a basic phone right here, a notepad, and then this is like if you forget something. It looks like. This is a smoke free hotel, looks like, too. So. Lamp. Yeah, like I said, there's no shortage of lighting in here. You got a chair. And here's the P-Tech unit, which is a GE. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna turn it up because it's really cold in here. It's working great. And out the window, we have a view of a couple of train air conditioners. Window is a bit dirty. You can see the country in over there. And there's a giant parking lot out there as well. Chair. There's another lamp. Or actually, there's a switch right there. Okay, never mind. And of course we got the beds, which are two queens. alarm clock in the middle it's 12 23 p.m. we just checked in here another lamp we got pictures above both beds so overall it seems so far it seems like a pretty nice hotel Ooh, man, these pillows are really soft get four of them on each bed so I think that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this tour and that'll be about it.